welcome. If you want to add another streaming service to your Symphony's bookshelf speaker, at the first you have to be connected with your Sonos application and then you have to pick the services and the voice. Next, you can add the voice service so we can use the Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant or we can go for the music content streaming apps. Like for example, we can add the YouTube music. So select and click to add to Sonos. Right now, we have to choose that we have already an account or we are new to YouTube music. I already have an account, so I'm gonna choose the first option. We have to copy that number, click to authorize, click one more time. Okay, it's my focus mode, so never mind. Uh, right now we have to enter this code. So copy, past, click next. And we have to choose our account. So let me just go for my YouTube music and I'm gonna check which one I'm using. Okay, this one. So we can switch, click here. Accept the permissions. Okay, as you can see right now, we are successfully connected, it looks like. Uh, so we can go back here. Now we can name for this account. So we can pick like YouTube Music. Sonos and click done. Right now the YouTube music pops on the screen but we can go back and take a look where it is. Okay, so when you are on your Sonos application you have to go right here for the songs and after that you will get this additional apps. So I can go for the YouTube music uh, and I can pick my favorite songs from here. I get those goosebumps every time you come around. Yeah. As you can hear, it works. The sound comes from our speaker, and right now we are using the YouTube music. So that's how we can add other streaming services to your Sonos bookshelf speaker. I'm in Symphonisk. If you find this video helpful, remember to leave a like, comment and subscribe.